diddle diddle I don't know la da da la da da do la da da la da diddle Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, you idiots. I'm Core Ben. I'm Riddle. Miles. Don't cut me off. No. Sorry, I didn't know you were going to do your last name. You never do your last name. Miles. Go. Ray. See go <clears throat> Seagull, like the bird of Jonathan Livingston. And thank you for some Patreon and follow us your official Twitter account. And today we're reacting to a video. Yes. It's called the 12 Great Inventions We Should Thank India For. Do you know any inventions I was, in India? I was thinking. Well, I saw the decimal in one video. Yeah. That's pretty important. Yeah. Uh, but I can't think of any others. Let's go. But I'm I sure probably could, but I don't want to. I just want to see what you tell sure us. There's a, oh, yeah. I'm sure there's a ton. A gazillion. Uh, I mean, being... And like, I bet there's some that other people have taken the credit for, and the Indians have just said, yeah, no, that was us, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Hey. 12 great inventions we can thank India for. We all know that India is one of the oldest civilizations Holy in the world like with a super rich culture and history. Does it have a rich culture? But did you know that some of the stuff you use every single day was invented in this country? I assume. From the what? buttons on your shirt but? to the shampoo in your shower. Watch this video till the end to find out what brilliant things we can thank India for. All right, number one, the zero. They invented the zero? People in ancient times had always thought that there should be some sort of a sign to indicate nothing. Well, their worries were put to rest in the 5th century AD when Aryabhata, an Indian genius of math and astronomy, invented the zero as a symbol to represent nothing. It made addition, subtraction, and a slew of other mathematical operations That's a cool. whole lot I didn't easier. Know that. They basically invented math. You can see the oldest zero in existence carved in the wall of a temple in Gwalior, India. If you're not a big fan of math and the invention of zero seems like nothing too important to you, just think, without it, we would have no binary system and no computers. <laughs> How do you like that zero now? <laughs> wow. Number two, rulers. Yo, really into math. The Indus Valley civilization was using rulers in 1500 BC and earlier. Made no, from ivory, these rulers were found during excavations That's in what cool. is present day Pakistan and northwestern India. Apparently, they were widely used in architecture with pretty amazing Which accuracy. Makes sense. Yeah. You have to have some way to they had units corresponding to 1.32 inches that were marked with extremely precise subdivisions within five thousandths of an inch. Yeah, I know. Number three, chess. Hey! Really? This all-time top game for intellectuals is also an Indian invention. Its ancestor was called Chaturanga, and it was a strategic board game it's popular like, uh, during Harry the Gupta Potter Empire, chess. around 6th century AD. Or Star Wars. Like the chess we know today, this game had various pieces with different value and capabilities. Wow. It also had this an important cool. king figure, and winning the game depended on the fate of the king. Another popular board game brought to us by India is Snakes and Ladders. Really? The original version was called Mokshapad. And it was invented cool. by a 13th century this poet and saint cool. by the name of I love that game as a kid. Yep. The snake stood for vices, while ladders were virtues. Huh. During India's time under British rule, the game made its way to England and later to the US. Oh, cool. The Number oh. four, plastic surgery. Seriously? In the 6th century BC, an Indian physician okay, named Shushwuta created a huge reference book on medicine and surgery. It was one of the world's earliest works of his kind. Shushruta, often called the father of surgery in his own country, described the use of hundreds of medicinal plants and instructions for performing surgical procedures, including nose reconstruction wow. and skin transplantation this from like, one part of the wow. body to Big another. Z? Is that? Yes. 
The original method of rhinoplasty that involved taking a piece of skin from the forehead to reconstruct the nose I love is even way. still used today. I like watching surgery. They but back the then, the nose jobs were done yeah. to help people who had been deprived of their noses ah! as a punishment Baltimore! for adultery. <laughs> how times have changed. Okay. Number five, cataract surgery. Really? Sushruta not only invented plastic surgery, but also performed the first cataract Shut surgery. The front he used a curved needle to remove the lens from the affected eye. This revolutionary procedure soon now. became popular outside I, of I India. Genuinely Patients thought this and was doctors from around the world like visited the surgeon to get operations idea. done and learn from his experience. Yikes. The genius surgeon never turned anyone away. He said that he got all his knowledge from the god of Ayurvedic medicine. That looks like Don a Native Vontaine. American. I might be wrong. Number six, Why the heck did we wireless communication. Yeah. When Let you us think know if that wasn't a Native American. Radio radio I wanted to hear what he's saying. Gil like, Moe Moe Coney Coney probably Native American. immediately comes to mind. Anyway. And that's for good reason, of course. He even received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909 for his innovative work. But Sir Jadish Chantra Bose presented his discovery of radio communication waves to the public in 1895. He sent an electromagnetic wave across 75 feet at the town hall in Calcutta. The wave passed through walls, rang a bell, and ignited some gunpowder. Marconi used Bose's invention, the Mercury Coherer, as a pattern to build his operational two-way radio. Bose never patented his work, so he was only credited for his discovery a century later. Is that day? Really? Number seven, the USB. I don't think this is. If you shop on Amazon, you should use Bluetooth. It's a browser system that automatically compares Amazon devices I, I, with other devices. Invented in fifteen thousand BC. The USB or Universal Serial <laughs> Bus is a way more recent invention than wireless BC. communication, of course. It was brought to us by Aj Bot, an Indian American computer oh, genius Bob? that was working as an engineer for Intel back in the nineteen nineties. He came up with the idea of a universal port for devices as he was putting an SD card into his computer. Remember those things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the device instantly became a huge hit. Bot himself didn't get money or official recognition for his invention as he's always insisted that it was the result of teamwork. Oh. Today, the amount of USB devices used worldwide is over 10 billion items, making it the most used Humble. computer gadget out there. If that was invented by American, you'd be like, oh. give, me, give me the patterns and billions yoga. of dollars. Don't call it a USB port, call it my name Hit port. Hit that like button. Oh, yoga. We know about yoga. yoga. That's not I'm revelatory. Fine. If you keep practicing it and see the positive changes in your life, then you should thank India for it. Ashley loves yoga. The first yoga. yoga guru was Lord Shiva, also known as Adi Yoga. People in northern India were practicing this spiritual exercise over 5,000 years ago. The word yoga was even mentioned in the Vedas, India's oldest sacred text. Hmm. The Brahmins further developed the art of yoga and documented their experiences in a treatise with over 200 records. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi came up with the idea to celebrate Yoga Day on June 21st, hmm. and it's now an actual international holiday with millions of followers. That's true. Number nine, natural fibers. Nothing feels better than the touch of natural cotton on your skin. We could have been they deprived of the situation if it weren't for the bright minds of India. Unlike the ancient Greeks who wore animal skins, the Indians started cultivating cotton back in the 5th and 4th centuries BC. That's a pretty good invention. They used cotton threads to produce fabrics that soon became a huge hit in the Mediterranean and yeah, beyond. I took it literally. Uh, they, what they they invented, also they invented the way to use India. the natural resources and turn them into fibers. The most fibers. exclusive right. type of wool actually comes from the Kashmir region of India. Authentic Kashmir. Exactly. Number 10, Kashmir. flush toilets. Yay! You can probably That's see probably by now that the Indus movie, Valley though. civilization yeah. came up with so many genius inventions. Actually, and flush toilets were one of them. 
I thought the Believe it or not, home toilets connected to a complicated oh, sewage system, really did. I thought that canals, was the irrigation, the and smart water plumbing. management I could existed be wrong about in that. a land of spices over 5,000 years ago. Pure genius. No idea. Number 11. Shampoo. The word shampoo comes from the Hindi word shampoo, huh. which means to massage or knead. The substance was invented in India in 1762 and was originally used for head massages, hence the name. Wow, I had no idea. The first shampoo was made of natural oils and herbs. British colonial traders... Until America got a hold of it and put on the chemicals. Chemicals, yeah! <laughs> It took years for the original head massage oil to evolve into shampoo as we know it today. But fact is fact. You have the Indians to thank for the beauty and cleanliness of your hair. Thanks. Thank you. Number 12, buttons. This clothing staple is at the top of our list. So simple yet revolutionary, the first button were found during excavations in Mohenjo-Daro one of the largest settlements of the Indus Valley Civilization. The visuals yeah, on this are yeah. quite good. Yeah. Over 5,000 years ago, buttons were made of seashells and used as an ornament and not for fastening clothes. But they had two holes in the middle right from the start. Oh. So, are there any inventions on the list that you can't live without? Let's discuss it in the comment section. The Let's just be sure toilet. to get a like and share the- Let's discuss it in the comment section. <laughs> the number zero. I mean, there's a lot in there that like you can't yeah, figure out. Yeah, about all of them. I mean, math is pretty But I would important. say of the 12, I'd probably 10 I did not know. I mean, I knew, I knew yoga. Yeah. Um, I mean, that might have been the only one. And I would have, I would assume that a bunch, especially now that we know yeah. a bunch, that India invented a bunch because they're so oh I mean if you're the oldest civilization you're bound to create most of most the stuff. everything. <laughs> That's yeah. why America has invented almost nothing. <laughs> well, well, nothing old. Nothing old. It's, it's true. Um, yeah, they've invented newer technologies, but yeah. Um, sometimes, as this shows, they stole stuff. Uh, <laughs> this this was a well done video. This so very... narration got a little cheesy, but it did. But um, it's such a. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when he laughed. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, most of that I did not know. And some of it, I presumed, like the flush toilet, Romans. I thought that was Romans. Uh, or I would have thought the Greeks or the Egyptians. Like the ruler, I thought the Egyptians came up with the measuring of a ruler kind of system. Uh, but I love yeah, learning Yeah, I think stuff most like of the stuff that, which is crazy. In America, we, we learn more about Rome than we oh. do about India. Hands down, because that's Why? Western civilization. That makes sense. That's yeah. true. Um, it's it's amazing. I, I've asked that recently of Micah because Micah's just finishing up his. He's about to start his senior year in high school, so he's still in the education system. And have asked him how much of your education have you studied where you have been looking at world history and the accentuation on West versus East. It is unequivocally Western heavy. Very little information has been given to him, not only about India, but everybody else in Asia. Why is that, though? Well, I know, I know in America, obviously, you, you, we're very America-centric, so we're very focused on what we on have Western done, civilization course. and but, our origins. Like, why... But also, it has to do with, like, like that guy that didn't want to take credit for the USB. Yeah. India is, like... We love you. And we're not saying you don't... You're not proud of what you do, but they're not braggy. They're not boastful. They're not, At all. like... They'll, like, oftentimes in America, if, like, you invented cancer, like, a cure for cancer. Right. A normal, decent person would just give that out so, you know, billions of people could, could, right, have, could have a relief from cancer. Yeah. If it was invented by an American, I can almost guarantee they would sell it to Their the first bidder. Yeah, sadly, the first thought would be, wow, I'm rich. Yeah. Versus, wow, people can be healed. Yeah. It's a sad comment and on and I think that's the like human a, condition a big difference like I think India would be like I right, we found the cure for cancer here it is right um, right and so that's I think one of the things it's like they won't they're even if they're like we know we, we know we invented it yeah I'm not gonna correct you <laughs> I, I think and I think you know to really get philosophical about it I think the reason why in the education system for example it's so Western centric and not Eastern focused uh, pretty much at all is solely because of, of two things. Conditioning, that's just the way it's been because we came from England. 
That's true. So the whole educational system was framed around the way things were taught in England. And then secondarily, most people just which replicate. Is, which is why we know the, the good parts of Churchill, but not the other parts of Churchill. Or even in American history, we're only taught the good parts of our founders. That's true. We don't talk about no the bad stuff. No. Uh, what did they ever do bad? Of course, nothing. They no. were perfect. None of them owned slaves. None of them did that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's very disappointing to discover, uh, we, trust us, we love our country deeply, but like every country, including India, has its major flaws. And one of the biggest flaws in America is for being such a generous people and being such an extraordinary nation in such a short amount of time, we can be so self-centered. Uh, where we just don't even care. Forget pay attention. American so Don't. Care. Like I was talking earlier about the moon. Yeah. Nobody here cares that India's doing anything with the moon. Yeah. They could care less. Uh, they, they could care less about flooding in South India. They don't even know what's happening. Yep. But um, that was a good video, though. I, Great. I, yeah, I really good video. I, especially a lot of new information. Yeah. And done well. Not, not too much self-promotion, which is sometimes annoying, especially when they do it right in the middle of the video. Yeah. Like, I understand, like, at the end or the beginning, but, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, Hi, if you like this, subscribe and like <laughs> All right, shut up. Let me watch the video. And I'm waiting for comments. I know a lot of you are going to put stuff in there and did you also know? So this will probably turn into, for those of you who would read the comments, you're going to see a lot of stupid babies, I'm sure, saying, and hey, did you also know? Did you also know? And it'll turn into not just 12 things. We'll find out a hundred things. Yeah, and if there's videos on educational stuff about India, as always, please let us know in the comments um, what those videos are because yep. we, we not only love trailers, movies, we love to learn about all of India, music, uh, everything, art, the like, martial it, arts, yeah, yeah education. That was a great one. Well, it doesn't matter. Yep. So just please let us know. Yep. And uh, India, you've invented a lot. And thanks for helping thanks us for, not be so stupider. Thanks for the shitter. What? The, the toilet. Oh yeah. Some people call the toilet the shitter. Well, that's a flushing one. <laughs> <laughs>